Hey everyone, this is Jim, and I'm here with a quick tip on how to use the new JKI State Machine Editor. So I'm going to assume that you've already installed it, and you can find it in the VIPM package list here. Just type JKI State Machine Editor in the search box, it's easy to find. So once you have that installed, um, assuming you also have the JKI State Machine installed, you can drop a new JKI State Machine by activating Quick Drop, typing JKI State Machine, dropping that down there. And with the JKI State Machine Editor installed, you can right click on the case structure or the event structure. In this case, I've opened it for the case structure. What we can see is by clicking on the different items in the tree, it navigates us to those frames in the case structure. What's great is you can also click back and forward to navigate through different items. Uh, that can be really helpful if you're um, navigating your path through a JKI state machine, um, if you're maybe looking at a macro uh, and trying to navigate your way through there. You can also see that changing frames here in the case structure also changes the frames shown in the tree control. Um, there's another cool little feature here. You can right click on a state string constant. You can see whichever item I've selected or right clicked onto, it gives me the option to go to that frame. I can click there and jump to that frame, click back. See if I want to go to front panel state. UI go to front panel state. You can click back. We can clear the navigation history here if for whatever reason you want to do that. Um, other nice features here. Let's say I want to rename UI initialize. I can right click and choose uh, rename. It gives me the option. Uh, you can see it selects the name here. I'll just rename it to UI init. You can see it renamed it over here. Now if we look at macro initialize, we'll see that um, that's calling data initialize. Let's say that I wanted to rename data initialize to data init. So I can do that right here. Rename the frame, data init. And what you'll also notice when I hit the OK button, it changes it all in all the string constants as well inside this JKI state machine. So that's pretty handy. Other things that you can do too, um, you can reorder your frames here. Let's see, drag and drop them to reorder. You can see that it reorders them here. Uh, synchronized these items with these items there. If you want to reorganize an entire category, you can do that as well. It's pretty handy. Uh, you can choose to rename this guy. Um, you can see uh, it's definitely a very handy tool here. You can right click on a frame and choose duplicate. You can see it's copied that. Um, you can also, if you want, you can copy a category. Let me see if I duplicate that frame. It also makes that a category. Um, okay, other nice features here. You can right click on the event structure and launch separate instances for the event structure and the case structure. Kind of keep those side by side, navigate through the event structure, navigate through the case structure. If you want, you can also just select the case structure and hit Control Space to Quick Drop, and then hit Control J. You won't see me do this, but I'm hitting Control J for JKI State Machine, and that will launch the editor as well. Um, you can insert new frames here. create a new blank frame for you. And uh, copy state name to clipboard is really handy. Uh, let's say I want to add this to a macro. So I've copied that to the clipboard and the macro. Let's just then paste that in there. Um, pretty handy. So hope you find this tool helpful. If you have any feedback, please feel free to uh, leave that for us. Let us know what features you want. If you find any issues, we'll try our best to fix them. Uh, have fun and let us know. Thank you.